What up, y'all? Uh, I built FIP 171 uh, to as a client to show really how easy it is to support that FIP. You should go look it up. Uh, FIP 171 is about really extending cast to support long, long cast and anything else. This is focused on long cast. I took the proposal as it stands now, built this using IPFS as the data store for the long cast data. Uh, so what you'll see is I've got three columns here. So I actually built three clients, to be clear. Uh, the, the column on the left is simply a link. So if clients want to support long cast just by linking out to them, very simple. So this is a IPFS protocol URI. Uh, it's just going to take you to the JSON as indicated in the FIP. So if I go to that, you'll see that JSON. Uh, so that's a simple implementation, but it is a change for clients that want to support it that way. We'll come back to the middle one, uh, but the far right is if we don't do anything. Warpcast, Supercast, if they don't wanna do anything today, this is what it's gonna look like when somebody creates a long cast. Yeah, it's truncated, you've got uh, the ellipsis, but nothing breaks, it just works. Um, so that's, that's a big win in my opinion. The middle section is how you would support this natively. If you're a client that wants to support long casts, and there's a bunch of different ways to do this, uh, UI tricks that you can do. For, for me, I went ahead and uh, had a see more button. So it's still truncated. You click see more, you can scroll through the entire thing. See less, you collapse it. Uh, you can scroll through everything. Steve actually posted the entire script to the B movie. Uh, so we can go and read that entire script here in a cast. And this is all live now. Um, but I'll show you quickly what it's like to create a long cast. So you've got your normal cast modal here. I'm gonna go grab a blog post I wrote and I'm gonna cast the entire blog post. So we'll go ahead and grab all of this and we'll come back and just paste it in. Most of the formatting is gonna be preserved, which is kind of cool, because uh, this is actually storing everything as markdown in the JSON file. So when I cast it, what's happening is it's uploading that JSON object to IPFS and then it's casting. It's getting the IPFS protocol URI, using that as an embed, uh, URL, and you can see we've got the new cast here, 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 it all showed up across the board. So anyways, the point of this is to show that we could go and build FIP 171. We can support it right now uh, with no further discussion, no further changes. We should still discuss it, of course, but it's really that easy. Uh, I'll have a blog post up on some of the code, hopefully by next week, uh, that I use to, to build this.